my approach to cooking. <laughs> it's sometimes very haphazard. Um, it's always about food that I, I want to eat in the moment, or it's uh, a dish that I want to share with someone that I've had in another part of the, you know, another part of the world, and creates nostalgia or stories or a talking point. Um, I love being able to sit down with a large group of friends and and share, you know, plates and plates of food, and everyone dig in with their hands or knives and forks, and yeah, have a little bit of fun. For me, food has always been an integral part of my family life. My mum was an amazing cook. Um, Dad loves cooking more on the barbecue or the braai, as South Africans call it. But um, yeah, mum grew up and she was in the food industry. I grew up learning from her and sitting on the kitchen bench, asking annoying questions and you know sticking your finger and everything. So I guess I learned from a very young age. And then from there, I, I took a lot of time overseas and travelled the world and guess picked up different flavours and tastes and recipes and yeah, really learnt as I travelled and learnt from the people that I was staying with or people that I met. Um, working on a big online project which is very exciting. Everyone obviously operates in the online space and people want to advertise there, they want to get content out into the world, they want to approach their audience and you know my target audience is young, fun, happy, exciting people that want to go travelling, want to learn new things about the world and I'm trying to figure out a, an amazing way to sort of be able to share my discovery of the world with them. Just finished my cookbook so the print book is coming out in December so a bit of a follow on from the e-books. Uh, the book's called Dish It Up so it's food that I guess the food that I love and food that describes what I sort of I know what I like to cook Monday to Friday, what I like to cook for friends when they come over, fresh, sharing, fun sort of food. I guess Australian food is very much like South African, where we're a big melting pot of society, a melting pot of cultures and flavours and foods and ingredients, and we're very lucky to have you know, a wide variety of Italian, Asian, international food, Mexican, Middle East. Yeah, it's great to have that multiculturalism and that diversity. And when I, when I travel to new countries, I really look forward to interacting with the people um, and the support for me through MasterChef from the South African community has been incredible and I'm looking forward to meeting those people face to face, saying hello, saying thank you and hopefully passing on a little bit of my passion through food and my passion of travel and yeah, sharing that with them and having a bit of a laugh. It's always good fun. I'm very happy to be in South Africa obviously. It's such a beautiful place and there's you know 3,000 kilometres of coastline so I don't think I'm going to explore that much of the coast but I think if I was to go somewhere, my girlfriend just got back from uh, Tanzania, so that sounds like a pretty amazing place. Or somewhere up north, um, Morocco would be incredible too. They got beautiful people, beautiful surf, amazing food. You know, if there was a global master chef, 100%, I'd love to be a part of it. It would be, you know, it would be incredible. It'd be so much fun. There would be so many different characters. You, you know, we talked about a melting pot of society, but to have that, you know, range of people and. You know, hopefully that I'd love to do that. Let's let's look into making that show. It'd be incredible. The most I think maybe the French would be probably if they have do they have Master Chef? They've got a pretty amazing culinary sort of scene. So French Master Chef, but maybe the South Africans have got to watch out for them too. I think the biggest piece of advice that I have for anyone, I guess this is throughout life, but especially with a reality television show like Master Chef is to be yourself, you know. Once you're on television and you're trying to pretend to be someone that you're not, it's very obvious and it's very easy for people to see that you're faking it I guess so be yourself let your true colors come through and you know show your passion the people don't realize how hectic the the show is um, I know your, your master chef is just wrapping up here in South Africa and the time you spend I guess in front of the camera behind the camera waiting around traveling waking up early staying up late it's a real learning experience not only on the food side of things but also you learn about yourself as a person you, you spend time with people that you wouldn't necessarily spend time with every day of you know the six months that you're in the house and meet new people and, and learn about food and be in that whole microcosm of crazy foodies. A big thank you to all the South African fans out there for all the support you've given us. It's been incredible and I'm incredibly grateful to be here.